is what's up. So in my last video, um, I did a uh, bubble test to check for a blown head gasket. And I don't know, it's getting like a weird, you know, some bubbling. So it kind of makes me, made me a little bit concerned. So I decided to go to the store and uh, get some stuff to make like one of those uh, coolant pressure gauges to do some testing, you know, further testing. Um, like I said, the truck runs fine. Uh, it's not blowing white smoke anywhere. So, I mean, it's, I, I'm just confused here. I mean, I, I did put a stage three tune on there. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if it was bubbling the whole time. I guess I just, I don't know. I just, I went out there to check it when I was hauling ass. Just out, I wanted to see if I was getting some, any sort of like bull over. So that's actually when I went out there and noticed the uh, small bubble. So it kind of freaked me out. Um, so I went to the store and got uh, a couple uh, 1 8 inch uh, MPT over at Ace. You know, 3 8 inch uh, hose here and a fitter. So I'm, I think I'm going to make this, try to make this a permanent solution. Um, I got like a 3 8 uh, little hose barb here. Couldn't find a brass one, so if I could have found one of those, I would have bought it. A couple hose clamps, and I had some actually fuel pressure gauges from, uh, I mean, I have lots of like little carb parts and things I've been, you know, I've been working on cars for like 25 years, but since I was 15. But, um, so I have a 30, a liquid filled 30, and then I have a 0 to 15, which is not liquid filled, kind of older one. Then I have this one here that's 0 to 15. So, I guess the cap is supposed to burp off around 16 psi, so I, I think I'm gonna go with the Russell one just because it's it's a the scale is smaller, so it'll be more it'll be easier to read and be more accurate in the lower ranges. Um, except this one's kind of easy to see though, it's white background. I don't know. Well, I guess I'll start off with a 15 zero to 15 one, and then uh, move it there. But uh, all right, I'm gonna start building this thing. Cool. Cool guy. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on this. Um, these threads. Mm. Put some on this uh, fuel pressure gauge here. Ah. Right. Yeah, I got the 90 elbow on there just because I wanted to be able to kind of like uh, maybe zip tie it down. Because I'm still trying to figure out, I, I, I yeah, want this to be, I guess, a permanent solution, but man, a fucking, man, six O's are touchy, man. They're not touchy, they're just, I, about 12 years ago, I had a 6.9 dually uh, from the 80s. It was like an 80s dually, and uh, that thing was rock solid. I mean, the whole time I ever had that truck, the only thing I ever went out was a vacuum pump. Whereas this thing, it's like, dude, I'm scared to freaking drive it almost. It's a trip. It's like, dude. I think all these modern diesels now are, dude, they're so expensive to repair, they're just a fucking nightmare. The 6.7, the 6.4, all these things. Alright. So, yeah, I was thinking I was going to zip tight. I'm going to come back, I'm going to bolt this all down, and um, I was going to somehow zip tight onto my dash somehow, like this way, so I could kind of see it. Or maybe actually even drill a hole through my dash, and just have it somehow... Or even like a little cutout and have this actually permanently in my dash, this little thing. So I haven't really decided yet, but yeah, uh, definitely a possibility. You know, just use like a little, like a hole saw and then basically somehow mount this into the dash. That way I always have, I can always check my, my pressure. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to cut a little piece of hose off here. Um, this actually is a great tool for cutting hoses. It's a razor blade on one side and a, it's, I think it's a Craftsman. Yeah, but yeah, cut such a such a good, perfect like hose cut. All right, put the nip. Da da da. Well, put, put a hose clamp on first, and do that. Oh, guess I got this one done. All right. I think you guys get the idea here. Then I'm going to go back and put a piece of hose on like that. On the T. Alright. Get it going. The T fitting done. I'm not going to obviously put the gauge on yet because i got to feed this through the firewall. Or the open end of the firewall before I get this uh, gauge on there. But Alright, I'm going to open up the hood and get that going. Cool. Guys, back here at the truck. So, need to... 
Take off. And there's other videos on how to do this. I'm just showing my experience of this whole process. Alright. Actually, fuck, I forgot the hose clamp. <laughs> Alright, so, I'll be back. Okay, we got the hose clamp on there. Slide that bad boy on. This hose on there. I don't think I want to cut it yet, just yet. Do that. Find a way to get that down. Let's see, Let's see if that works. That's the original clamp, and I got to run this through the uh, firewall over here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's cool. Actually, one pug life. Uh, I was watching his videos about his head gasket issues, and I. Uh, I was, was kind of wondering what the hell these wires were for. And uh, yeah, they feed into the actual console so you can actually add accessories. So that's pretty cool. Um, I gotta feed that through the firewall. Alright, All right, cool. Alright, so you can focus. So yeah, I just have it routed down through there. It goes around the uh, master cylinder here and goes down. And Right, let this uh, hose come back up through like this where the fuse panel is. And I think I'm going to have it go up right here so I can have it mounted like right in there somewhere. I can see that. Because I kind of want this to be sort of a permanent solution. Um, I'll get it mounted. Alright, so I have this. I think I'm going to mount it like right here. So this is pretty much about eye level for me. I mean, probably like right there. I can clearly see this while I'm driving. Um, I'm probably gonna actually maybe get like a real gauge pod, maybe because I probably gonna want to keep an eye on this for the rest of the. Yeah, I don't plan to get rid of this truck anytime soon, so I don't want to have any major problem putting money into it. But all right, cool. So I'm gonna put this uh, little uh, screw zip tie on there to keep it down place. I don't really mind putting a little small hole in the plastic. I can always fill it, plastic filler, if I have to. Um, that way it keeps it steady and in place. So I'll get that zip tied and I'll show you here in a couple seconds. Mounted. I use like some of the uh, zip tie straps, a screwable zip, zip tie straps. Doesn't look, I mean it looks like shit right there you know, but like I said that this is sort of I, don't know if I, I mean that looks pretty ugly to me, so I might change the gauge. It's like a gauge pod and put it internally. But yeah, from here this is actually like right where I'd be looking, so it's perfectly in my line of sight. I mean, I guess I could always lower it down a couple inches too, but I mean, that's perfect right now because I'm just trying to troubleshoot, so. Alright, this is the first time this thing is fired up, so. I guess we'll see. Yeah, once I did those dummy plugs, this thing fires up right away. So. Let this thing warm up, take it for a drive, and see what happens. May romp on it a couple times, and. I mean, I never actually had a spillover, so I don't really know for sure. You know, I never actually had coolant spill over the cap. So, I mean, I don't know what else could be causing those bubbles in my uh, in my other video. Like, what, you know, what the hell? So, and don't have any white smoke coming out the tailpipe, so who knows? I've been driving this around for a couple minutes. to about six. Um, this Hypertech Stage 3 tuning is fucking ridiculous. It's so fast. Um, yeah, when you barely get the gas, it just runs like your normal truck. But as soon as you get to a certain point, it just fucking opens up like crazy. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. Yeah, I got the tuner, I mean, uh, on eBay for like 40 bucks. And I cracked it in my other video. It was locked and I cracked it in the other video. But, um, yeah, I'm an IT guy, so I figure that shit. I do that shit all day long, so. It wasn't that difficult for me, I guess. Um, but. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out right now. I'm still, uh, I mean, I guess I need to take out this on the freeway to figure it out, but I'm just trying to get the, uh, the gauge going. And I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking robbing on this thing pretty good right now. So I'll, I'll keep on testing it, see if I can get over 17. Yeah, I might have to move that gauge down a little bit because it's kind of blocking my. Uh, I can't see the fuel gauge, so we'll see. All right, I'm gonna keep on going for another half an hour and see what happens. Um, at about nine, eight, 
Um, there's my EGT gauge right there. And what's weird is, they say with this HyperTech tuner, you can even tow in fucking stage three. Like it has safe EGTs. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head up to like a small hill and I'm freaking seriously wrong about it. But, uh, yeah, the cool thing about the HyperTech stage three tuner is it also does the transmission as well. So, yeah, but we're still at about 8 PSI there. But, at about 10 and trying to figure out when I romp on it it moves pretty fast but then it goes back down pretty fast so I don't know if that's a uh, combustion pressure getting into the, into the cooling system or what but Beach and uh, I mean the beach traffic right now is pretty freaking stupid. Summertime, so if I get on the freeway right now, it's gonna be a nightmare. But I just this is my first running on this thing to see how it goes, and I'm gonna do a bubble check again real quick right now and come back again. Hey guys, so I decided to do the bubble test again. I've had it on and off here a couple times. I can't get it to bubble. So now it's just a leak in this thing, but it was working fine yesterday. And I was never I never went over 12 on the PSI gauge for the coolant temp. This thing. I think I just installed. So, but as soon as I can see, like a kind of, like a bubble over here. There's my right there. And it's kind of faintly. You can really faintly see it. Like I said I don't know if that's normal or not, but this thing is not bubbling anymore. Yesterday it was bubbling on and off. You know, I was dropping on this thing for a while. I mean, I did actually replace the dummy plugs, you know, uh, last weekend. So maybe there could have been air trapped in the system. I, I don't know, man. So, I don't, I don't know. What, what's that normal driving PSI? You know, like on the uh, coolant tap side. So it never went over 12. I don't know. And the bubbles won't bubble anymore. So that was weird. It was bubbling yesterday. And this has been on here for a while. It's been idling for a while. So, and I do see bubbles. It's sort of some kind of moving that in that degas bottle so I don't know man I don't know if it's all in my head or not but I mean you guys I mean I have no clue right, let me know <laughs> 